There are so many rumors and myths which are floating around regarding the coronavirus which has been the hot topic and also the world has declared the health emergency. So many of the individuals have their own opinion about the coronavirus in spite the World Health Organization as well as the Center for Disease Control has been giving a proper educational resource to the general public. So here I am quoting the same resources and I want to give the inputs to all the public about the coronavirus. Here we have the questionnaire regarding each and every point regarding the coronavirus infection. Coronaviruses are the large family of viruses which are found in both animals and humans. Some infect people and are known to cause illness which is ranging from the common cold to more severe disease such as middle-aged respiratory syndrome and severe acute respiratory syndrome. So a novel coronavirus is a new strain of coronavirus that has not been previously identified in the humans. The novel means new, right? So had not previously detected before the outbreak which was reported in Wuhan that is in China in the late 2019 that is at the end of December 2019. So the novel coronavirus is from the same family of the viruses as severe acute respiratory syndrome but it is not the same virus and it is completely different. So when we talk about how dangerous it is, so as with other respiratory illnesses, infection with the novel coronavirus can cause mild symptoms including a runny nose, sore throat, cough and fever. And fever is considered to be the most common manifestation as it is seen in almost greater than 90% of the cases. And it can be more severe for some of the individuals, for examples like in children as well as in the older people that can lead to pneumonia or breathing difficulties. And more rarely the disease can be fatal as I already mentioned that the older people as well as the people with a pre-existing medical condition such as diabetes and heart disease, these patients are more vulnerable and it is fatal for these individuals and the individuals become severely ill with the virus. So here the detailed uh, investigations found that uh, the novel coronavirus was transmitted uh, from cats to humans in China that is in 2002 as well as uh, from camels to the humans in Saudi Arabia in 2012. But the several known coronaviruses are circulating in animals that have not yet infected humans. As surveillance improves around the world, more coronaviruses are likely to be identified. So here the animal source of the novel coronavirus has not yet been identified. So this does not mean that you can catch the novel coronavirus from any animal or from your pet. It is likely that an animal source from a live animal market in China was actually responsible for some of the first reported human infections. So to protect yourself from this deadly coronavirus, when visiting the live animal markets, avoid direct unprotected contact with the live animals. And the consumption of the raw or uncooked animal products should be completely avoided at this point. Raw meat, milk or animal organs should be handled with care. And to avoid cross-contamination with uncooked foods as per good food safety practices need to be maintained right now. There are so many myths as well as uh, the posts which are 
coming across the social media and the Facebook as well as in the WhatsApp regarding the contamination of the coronavirus with the animals more commonly from the pets. The answer for this question is no. That is at present there is no evidence that the companion animals or pets such as dogs and cats have been infected or have spread the novel coronavirus. So it is very important for us to know about uh, the spread of the infection from person to the person. And we have been getting the results as well as from the data that this infection has been spreading from person to the person. So stay aware of the latest information on the outbreak which is available on the WHO website and take care of your health by doing some of the important steps. That is, wash your hands frequently with an alcohol-based hand rub or soap and water. Why it is important? So washing your hands with an alcohol-based hand rub or soap as well as water kills the virus if it is on your hands. So it maximum prevents the spread of virus to you. And another important thing is the maintenance of the social distance, that is maintaining social distancing. So maintaining at least one meter, that is three feet distance between yourself to the other people is extremely important at this point, particularly those who are coughing, sneezing and have a fever because these are the symptomatology which can say that they may be infected with this deadly virus. And why it is important because when someone who is infected with a respiratory disease like novel coronavirus, coughs or sneezes, they project small droplets containing the viruses. And these small droplets which are thrown into the air has lot of virus. And if the person is very close, one feet or two feet distance, it is very easy for this individual to take that virus through the inhalation and another person can get infected. That is the reason if you are too close, you can breathe in the virus and there is a much more danger that the virus can enter in your body. And another important step what you have to take here is avoid touching eyes, nose as well as mouth because hands touch many surfaces which can be contaminated with the virus. So if you touch your eyes, nose or mouth with your contaminated hands, you can transfer the virus from the surface to yourself. That's the reason you have to take proper care over here. If you have a fever, cough and difficulty breathing, it is important for now at this point that you need to seek a medical care as early as possible. And also tell your healthcare provider if you have traveled in the area in the China where the novel coronavirus has been reported or if you have been in close contact with someone with who has traveled from the China and has the respiratory symptoms because it is very important that you have to explain your symptomatology to your healthcare provider when you have such kind of symptoms. And why it is important because whenever you have a fever, cough as well as difficulty in breathing, it is important to seek a very immediate medical attention promptly as this may be due to the respiratory infection or maybe any other serious condition. And important point to be noted here that the respiratory symptoms with fever can have a range of causes and depending on your personal travel history and circumstances, the novel coronavirus could be one of them. So why to take a chance? So you have to go to your healthcare provider immediately when you see such kind of symptoms. And if you have a milder respiratory symptoms and has no travel history to or within China, carefully practice basic respiratory and hand hygiene and stay home until you are recovered if possible. So this is the way you can prevent maximum of the contaminating with deadly coronavirus. Now coming towards the wearing of the mask. So wearing a medical mask can help limit the spread of some of the respiratory disease. However, using a mask alone 
is not at all guaranteed to stop infections and should be combined with other preventive measures including the hand and respiratory hygiene and avoiding the close contact at least that is one meter that I have already mentioned that you have to maintain the three feet distance between yourself and the other people. So if you see the data from the World Health Organization, WHO advises on the rational use of medical masks, thus avoiding unnecessary wastage of precious resources and potential misuse of masks. So this means using masks only if you have respiratory symptoms is important that is coughing and sneezing that have been suspected in the latest novel coronavirus infection with the milder symptoms or Caring for someone with a suspected coronavirus infection is important here. So a suspected novel coronavirus infection is linked to travel in an area in the China where the novel coronavirus has been reported or close contact with someone traveling from China and has the respiratory symptoms. So these steps has to be taken at a serious note. So before putting on the mask, Wash hands with alcohol-based hand rub or soap and water and cover your mouth and nose with mask and make sure that there are no gaps between your face and the mask and avoid touching the mask while using it. If you do, clean your hands with alcohol-based hand rub or soap and water and replace the mask with the new one as soon as it is damp and do not reuse the single-use mask at any cost. And to remove the mask, remove it from behind. Do not touch the mask from the front and discard the mask immediately in a closed bin. After that, wash hands with an alcohol-based hand rub or soap and water. So the important question each and every individual has there in mind in the general public is who can catch this virus? So people living or traveling in an area where the novel coronavirus is circulating may be at a very greater risk of infection. And at present, this novel coronavirus is circulating in China where the vast majority of the people infected have been reported. And those infected from other countries are among people who have recently traveled from China or who have been living or working closely with those travelers such as the family members, co-workers or maybe the medical professionals also. So who is caring for the patients before they knew that the patients were infected with the novel coronavirus. And the health workers caring for persons who are at a risk with the novel coronavirus are at a very higher risk and must protect themselves with an appropriate infection prevention and the control procedures should be handled pretty carefully. And the people living outside of the areas in China where the virus is circulating are not at the risk of infection with the novel coronavirus. And the World Health Organization that is WHO is continuously monitoring the epidemiology of the outbreak to better understand where the virus is circulating and how people can protect themselves from this deadly infection. And when we talk about the severity of this illness, so who can get the severity of the illness is the big question for majority of the individuals. So the virus is very new. So we still need to learn more about uh, how this new deadly novel coronavirus affects people. So thus far, as far as the data, what we are getting from the China, the older people and also the people with the pre-existing medical conditions, as I already mentioned, the diabetes and the heart diseases, these individuals appear to be at the greater risk of developing the severe form of illness and it could be fatal and they may die because of this infection. So for all the general public, at present what is important is how to stop spreading of this virus. So the new coronavirus is a respiratory virus, right? Because the death happens because of a severe respiratory illness. So and this is the virus which spreads primarily through contact with an infected person by means of respiratory droplets, which is generated when a person coughs or sneezes or through the droplets of the saliva or discharge from the nose. So that is the reason 
whomever they have such kind of symptoms they also have to take the personal care and the health care worker who is treating these patients also should take a personal care because they are the one who are at a greater risk so it is important that everyone irrespective of the infected not infected health care professionals everyone should practice good respiratory hygiene for example cough or sneeze into a flexed elbow or use a tissue and discard it immediately into the closed bin and it is also very important for the people to wash their hands regularly with either alcohol based hand rub or soap and water and the maintenance of the hand hygiene as well as the respiratory hygiene is very very important to spread this deadly virus infection in your community so when we talk about the survival rate of the viruses and how long does it survives on the surfaces so it is still not known how long that this novel corona virus survives on surfaces although the preliminary information suggests that the virus may survive a few hours and simple disinfectants can kill the viruses making it no longer possible to infect the people that is the reason again and again i want to repeat the same word that maintenance of the hygiene is extremely important to prevent the spread of the infection to you as well as to the community as well so majority of the people have a doubt because these days whomever they got common cold cough or sneeze even with the fever they got immediately devastated thinking that it is a novel corona virus so an important public information what you need to know is how it can be differentiated between the symptoms of the common cold and flu as well as the symptomatology what is arising from the novel corona virus so the people with the novel corona virus infection the flu or a cold typically develop respiratory symptoms such as fever cough and runny nose so even though many symptoms are alike they are caused by the different viruses so because of their similarities it is difficult to identify the disease based on symptoms alone so that's why the laboratory tests are required to confirm if someone has the novel corona virus so as always we have to take the guidelines from the world health organization the who recommends that the people who have cough fever as well as the difficulty in breathing should seek medical care as early as possible and the patients should inform the health care providers if they have traveled in the 14 days before they developed such kind of a symptoms or they have been in close contact with someone which who has been sick with the respiratory symptoms so the question is how long is the incubation period so the incubation period is a time between infection and the onset of the clinical symptoms of the disease so the current scenario actually estimates of the incubation period which is ranging between 2 to 11 days and these estimates will be refined as more data become evident as well as available these days and the based on the information from the other corona viruses diseases such as mers as well as sars the incubation period of the novel corona virus could be up to 14 days so here it is very important in understanding the time when infected patients may spread the viruses to others it is critical for control efforts so detailed medical information from the people infected is needed to determine the infectious period of the novel corona virus and according to the recent reports it may be possible that the people infected with the novel corona virus may be infectious before showing the significant symptoms however based on the currently available data the people who have symptoms are causing the majority of the virus spread so what is the advice what we have to take from the world health organization so the advice what we can take from the who which has been issued to the people on how to protect themselves from the novel corona virus infection so as for any virus that spread via respiratory route 
in addition it is vitally important in healthcare settings that the healthcare workers are able to protect themselves from the infection and WHO guidance on infection prevention and control measures in healthcare facilities should be taken at any cost. Yes, many people have a doubt also that can I receive any kind of a packages or the parcels or the couriers if you receive from China. Yes, it is absolutely safe because uh, the people receiving packages are not at all at a risk of contracting the new Corona viruses. So from experience with other coronaviruses, we can clearly say that these type of viruses do not survive long on objects such as letters or packages. That's the reason. Do not worry about this point at all. So many people are taking antibiotics like they generally do on counter medications for all different types of uh, flu as well as respiratory illness. No, not at all. Here you should not take any kind of antibiotics because antibiotics do not work on viruses. They only work on bacteria that is bacterial infections. So the novel coronavirus is a virus, right? So and therefore the antibiotics should not be used as a means of prevention or a treatment. So talking about the treatment, many people have a doubt and there are also pretty rumors as well as myths regarding the treatment and many people are also taking the treatment and some people are also selling the medication in the name of the treatment for the novel coronavirus. But remember, as from the up to date, as from the data what we have received from the WHO as well as from the Center for Disease Control, till date there is no specific medicine recommended to prevent or treat the novel coronavirus. But however, those infected with the novel coronavirus should receive an appropriate care especially to relieve as well as to treat symptoms and those with the severe illness should receive optimized supportive care. And there are some specific treatments are under investigation and will be tested by means of clinical trials. Approximately it may take uh, four to six months for these uh, medicine to be available for the general public. So the WHO is helping actually to coordinate efforts to develop the medicines and also to treat the novel coronavirus with a wide range of partners of WHO. And especially here, if you want to protect yourself from getting infected with the new coronavirus, you should maintain a basic hand as well as respiratory hygiene and safe food practices and also avoid close contact and when possible with anyone showing such kind of symptoms like respiratory illness such as coughing and sneezing which is associated with the fever. So many people are following certain measures which are not specifically recommended as the novel coronavirus remedies as they are not effective to protect yourself and can be even harmful like people are taking the vitamin C or like smoking drinking tradition herbal teas and wearing multiple masks to maximize the protection taking self medication such as antibiotics right so all these are not effective at all so in any case if you have a fever cough and difficulty in breathing you have to seek the medical care as early as possible to reduce the risk of developing a more severe form of infection from the deadly coronavirus and also be sure to share your recent travel history with your healthcare provider. So stay safe and stay healthy from the deadly coronavirus. Mm -hmm.